Okay, hello, hello. So hello to uh, whoever is here uh, already, might join later or will listen to the recording afterwards. So let's start our Monday session. And as usual, first, allow yourself to give yourself a stretch. I like to do that. So follow me if you if you feel like it. Stretching the arm, even yawning if you feel like doing so. Stretching the back, rolling the shoulders, moving the, the head, the neck. Ah, even stretching the legs if you can. You can even stand up and sit back down in, if that helps. And... And when you feel nice and comfortable, close your eyes and first, first become aware of the weight of your body on your seat. The weight of your body, the space that your body occupies in the room that you're in. And moving your attention down into your feet. Feel the weight of your feet on the ground. And even make yourself heavier for a moment, pressing your feet on the floor. And in doing so, feeling the connection with the floor and acknowledging the presence of the earth underneath us. Intending to connect, to ground yourself. And oftentimes, you might even notice more intensely the energy that is coming from the earth. And once you once you feel heavy and grounded, Bring your attention, your focus all the way up into the area of the chest and in the middle of the chest, in the heart. And here we're just going to connect with our heart. If you want, you can place a hand over the heart and touching this area. Or you can just tune in and focus until you can feel your heart or until you can hear your heart in a weird way, hearing the heart beating. And once you've done that, just imagine as if your breath is flowing in and out directly through the heart, a little bit as if the heart had a nose. And just that keeps us anchored in this, in the area of the heart, connected. And now we are going to start to work on the rhythm of our breathing by just slowing down our breath, making it a little bit deeper as well. And here the trick is to have our breathing as regular rhythmic as possible so in breath and out breath of the same length and just the same continuous comfortable deep slow rhythm so let's do this for about a minute together to find a rhythm that's comfortable for our breathing
And as we breathe in that slow rhythm, as we are also connected with the heart, it helps us to slowly sink into a neutral, coherent state in our body and our mind. And our body does that for us, our physiology does that for us when we breathe in that rhythmic, comfortable breath. It calms the mind. So let's take advantage of our mind getting peaceful and quiet to first remind ourselves of our vision, the vision that we have for our life and basically the general direction that we intend to pursue. What's our, the trajectory that we want to be on? And maybe if thinking of, uh, thinking of the vision for life is, feels too big, bring it closer to home. Maybe what's the, what were the goals for this year? Break it down, what, what are the goals for this month? Just give yourself um, a reminder of where you're heading. And once we've done that, now let's have a little review of the past, the immediate past. So we usually do this for the week that's just passed and then we're gonna, after, set up our intentions for the week to come. But since we are just at the start of a new month, let's, uh, Let's do this for the last month. So have a little review of, of the month of June. And you can do this uh, either you choose to focus on one area of life, whether it's work or, or something else, or else reviewing all of the areas of life that are important to you from personal relationships, family, spiritual life, exercise, health, work of course, basically everything that's important to you and just consider what, what has been working well so far, the pluses, the achievements, the things that, that you want to nurture and maintain, the things that you want more of, basically. And also welcome the information about the things that didn't work as well as you wished. And welcome the information in the sense that it's not about judging ourselves for what, what isn't working. It's about just about getting that awareness. That's okay. These are all the things that I want less of in the future. All of the things I want to change, all of the things I want to let go of. So 
So give yourself another minute to have a contemplation of the pros and cons of this past month. And now, now let's uh, ask ourselves a question. If, if the past month was to repeat itself on a loop of sorts in the future, is it going to bring us closer to our vision? or not and it's just to give us a general idea of the track that we're on does it look like what we've been doing up until now if we if we keep on the exact same rhythm the same the same course of action does it design a trajectory that points toward the vision that we were reminding ourselves of at the start is it going towards that direction or is it off track and if it's off track is it off track by a few centimeters, or is it pointing massively in a different direction? And again, here, no judgment. It's okay if it's not <clears throat> if it's not aligned with uh, with our our goals. It's fine. We better be aware sooner than later. Sometimes we are we are very caught up in the day to day and uh, the daily stresses and challenges and and we are a bit disconnected from the bigger picture. So it's good to welcome this awareness. And now, now we are going to start involving our imagination to design to design a future that will bring us back if we are not on track that will bring us back on the trajectory that we that we want to create for ourselves so here just going to invite us to, to dream, to imagine in the next week, the next month that, are, that is just starting. What if everything were to, was to work out in the best way possible? What if for... For starters, what if everything that is in our control, we were going to absolutely rock it? What if everything that was in our control, we were going to be able to achieve? Everything that we set our mind into, the decisions that we make, the things that maybe 
We've been procrastinating on, that's it. We are on to them. We're being proactive, we're being productive. So what if everything that we that we can do, we were to do and and successfully and easily, what would that look like? Okay, and here, allow yourself to, allow your imagination to, to take over. Don't limit yourself. And now, so that was what's in our control, but we, we know not everything is in our control. So what also, what if, what if, the unexpected was in our favor as well. What could it look like? If you were to imagine the best possible outcomes, the best possible scenarios for, for next month, what could be possibly happening that, that is not in your control, but, but that would serve that would serve you, that would contribute to, to your goals, to, to your highest good and the highest good of, uh, of the people around you. Basically, what good news can you possibly imagine could happen? Again, allow your imagination to roam wild here. And, and now I'm also going to ask you to set an intention. Set an intention to be open to anything else that you're not yet able to imagine. So just being open to receive in a different shape or form and beyond everything that you've that you can possibly imagine in the state that you're in today. There is always more. Possibilities are infinite. Mm -hmm. So just open yourself up to that, to possibilities of more and better but the more and better could come in in unexpected shapes or forms so just being open to that and once we've done that just want to to invite us to now notice how we are feeling Bring our awareness into how that makes us feel when we are imagining everything going well and this, uh, these good outcomes. And allow the feelings to grow in within yourself, in your body, whichever they are. Maybe they're very precise and you can put a name to it. Great. Maybe you're just feeling a certain way in your body and it's okay too. And now we're go we are going to to expand on this 
on this feeling. So every time you breathe in and out, now I'm going to invite you to imagine as if the feelings are expanding out from your heart when you breathe out and they are coming back within yourself stronger when you breathe in. As if you're playing with these sensations that form a bubble around you that gets stronger and stronger every time you breathe in and out. Every time you breathe in, visualize the feelings entering yourself through the heart and, and notice how you feel them more intensely. And every time you breathe out, imagine as if the feelings radiate out from your heart and they're radiating, they're inundating the space around you. Breathe in, feel the feelings intensely and breathe out. Imagine the feelings expanding, radiating out into the world. And now we're going to use our imagination again. And I'm going to invite you invite us to now imagine that every time we breathe out, we are radiating out these sensations, these feelings into a concentrated, highly concentrated way, like as if it's a laser beam shooting out from our heart, concentrating all of this energy from your heart Imagining that it's a laser beam shooting out in front of you and as if in your favorite sci-fi movie, just imagine or visualize as if this laser beam is literally opening up a portal in front of you, like a portal in time and space. And once you have this portal, this imaginary door visualized in front of you, in your mind's eyes, just imagine as if you're stepping on the other side of this portal, as if you're stepping into this this future in time and space that you've just crafted imagine that you're now on the side of a future that holds all of the information that correspond to these best possible outcomes that you've imagined earlier a future that holds all of these possibilities right here for you to pick up on. And just imagine as if now, every time you breathe in, you're actually connecting and bringing into yourself all of the information into the infinite 
field of possibilities. You're bringing into yourself all of this energy, this information that your body is going to soak in and remember You're programming yourself with this information from the field of possibilities, giving you possibly new ideas to tap into, connecting you with new opportunities, new people that might be coming into your life. Connecting you with new possibilities that could manifest into synchronicities in the months to come. These possibilities that you've intended to be open to. And so now let's uh, let's take three deep breaths as if we are really soaking in all of this information into ourselves. And one, breathe in and out. Soaking everything in, breathe in again and out. And one last time, breathe in and out. Breathing out, gratitude for this opportunity to connect with, with all of these possibilities. And now the last step in our session today is to bring ourselves back into the here and now and to do that let's uh, rub our hands together and then place them on the top of our head and from there allow yourself to touch every part of your body, touch your face, your head, your neck, your shoulders, your arms, the top of your torso, your chest, your abdomen, your back as much as you can, and your legs, your legs all the way down to your feet and even pressing your hands into the ground. And when you've done that, just uh, take another deep breath and open your eyes whenever you're ready. Oh, and welcome back. And, and just know that you can, you have access to that recording that you can listen to over and over if you feel like you need to do it for longer. And, and thank you very much for being with me today. And I shall say, see you next week for another session. Thank you.